Hello, welcome to Revelator House. In this video, I'm talking about Harley Davidson motorcycles or new motorcycles and the stage one uh, performance upgrade or stage two, three, or four, whatever it is you're, you want to do. Now, uh, it's changed somewhat, okay? And this is some information that you might need to know because there's a big gray area. So with the new motorcycles or the new engine, I should say, the Milwaukee 8 engine, and this is what we find ourselves in the UK, Prior to the Milwaukee 8 engine, you could have a stage one or whatever stage you wanted, and they'd use a Screaming Eagle uh, tuner uh, to do that, because basically you do your air filter, your exhaust, okay, that's all fine and dandy, but if you haven't done the mapping on it, uh, then it's going to screw up your bike. So they do that with a Screaming Eagle uh, tuner, okay, and that is a Harley Davidson part. With the new bikes, the new engines, let's just say, they haven't got that anymore, they haven't got the Screaming Eagle uh, tuner. So the only way to do it is with an aftermarket part. So let's say if you're going, I don't know, for a, a Vance and Hines exhaust system, something like that, uh, or even with a Screaming Eagle uh, exhaust and air filter, whatever it is, you're going to have to use an aftermarket um, tuner. Now, I'm led to believe that if I wanted to do that on my bike, then that may not be covered under warranty. Even if I do it, at the point of purchase now the dealership assured me no it would be covered but at the same time they're also saying uh, under harley's rules any aftermarket part that is used is not covered under warranty so in order to do the stage one performance upgrade you need to use an aftermarket part even harley davidson themselves apparently are saying yes it's absolutely fine but it kind of contravenes their kind of rules if you like on this kind of thing before you do any stage one upgrade on your bike whether it's a new this is within the warranty period of course and what which i'm specifically talking about here initially make sure or just get this clarified with your bike your model uh, you know if the work that is going to be done with the parts are they all app approved parts um, by Harley, uh, will it affect the warranty program and is the tuner that they're going to use approved as well, either by Harley or will it, uh, will it be protected by a dealership program as well, so get that checked out. The other thing uh, you need to consider is, regardless of the warranty, whether you're having it two years after purchase or three years after purchase, whatever, does this affect the work that's been done on the bike? So let's say, for example, you have an aftermarket tuner and for some reason uh, it uh, makes the, the engine not work quite right and it causes overheating and, you know, blows pistons or, you know, cylinders or, or whatever it is. Now, can they link that back to the tuner? Okay, so there's gonna, you know, it may or may not, you know, there might be a bit of to and fro in here to decide, okay, w w which is at fault, what's caused the actual problem. So you might find that whether the tuner or the stage one performance upgrade cause the issue or not, you might have a few issues on uh, proving where the fault came from. If it's within the warranty period, you might have a few issues as well. I'm told there won't be. I'm being reassured there won't be at all. Uh, but as I say, it's not written down in black and white. It's not uh, fully clarified to the customer. So I'm a new customer now, so I kind of want to know this information. And it's, you know, even the, the dealer themselves, they couldn't really say for sure, you know, which way it is. So all I can say is, you know, it's, I think this is going to kind of be evolving as we go on. And they will clarify this over a period of time. But I just thought you should know, Problems with the stage one, it's not the work, it's not the validity of the work and it's not the workmanship, it's got nothing to do with that. This is to do with the, the point is that Harley are not making a tuner anymore, a Screaming Eagle tuner for the Milky 8 engine. So you're going to need to, well I'm not even sure it's just for a Milky 8, I just don't think they're making them anymore. So uh, they're going to have to use, the dealers are going to have to use the aftermarket tuner. It's whether Harley will honour that tuner or not. That's what they're, they're, they're figuring out right now. Anyway, well, I hope you found this useful. Check out the website, wherevelatoralf.com. Uh, subscribe to the channel. That'd be really cool. And I'll catch you on the next video. Well, whatever it is, I won't be on that. That's for sure. I'll be on another uh, bike, which I should be getting next week. Or by the time you watch it, it could have been last week or last month or last year. Catch you again. Ta-da.